Hey folks, Wayne with Kajika Life here. Today, I wanted to bring you a little bit of an overview on a product that I've been using for probably two, two and a half years, and it's served me very well. And it's the Solo Stove and the Solo Pot 900 milliliters. You can buy them separately, or you can buy them as a kit. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. Stick around. So the first, the first thing to, uh, to come out of this stuff sack will be your uh, Solo Pot. It's a 900 milliliter pot. It has a tight fitting lid on it, which is very handy. And it also has a little clasp here that if you just move it to the side, it stays standing. You turn it back and it folds down. So that's a neat little feature. Uh, this here does not come with the uh, the pot, this is just uh, something that I made because there was no bale for this pot. So I'll go over that later on. Next is your stove, which again comes in a nice little stuff sack. I'm going to take these gloves off. which looks very much like um, <clears throat> a model called the this Bush here buddy. has your grate in the bottom and then you put the pot stand on top of it. So both pots <clears throat> come in a, their own respective stuff sack. One is for the stove and the other is for the uh, the solo pot so that you know keeps them clean one from each other with any soot buildup that you might get on uh, on the uh, on the stove or on the mug so like most stick stoves you'd load it and set it up pretty much the same way as you would any other uh, this stove uh, takes a little bit more uh, prep work because of the size of sticks that you have to uh, you, you, you have to fit into there, you'll notice that there is not a lot of depth as far as the size of sticks, the length of sticks that you can put in there. So I try to start off with like a very small diameter size and then, you know, work my way up. Uh, and once, you know, your fire is going, uh, you can use a, a little longer sticks and I'll show that once it's uh, it's up and running but you do very much the same as you would with any other um, biomass uh, stick stove okay so I've got her loaded to the point where I'm ready to light it and then add fuel as I go. I have enough uh, small ribbony textured uh, birch bark in here that I should be able to light it directly uh, with the ferrocerium rod directly into the, uh, the stove itself. Then just put the lid on it. So by preloading it with smaller sticks, and what I was using is I was using uh, very dried but still resinous uh, spruce branches uh, to get the fire going, which now I have a pretty good established fire. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some water and see how long the stove takes to boil. It's minus 22 degrees outside today, so it's a good test to see if it generates a good enough heat to get a boil in a reasonable amount of time. One thing to note with these little stoves, uh, they burn extremely efficiently and uh, so they are fuel hungry. Make sure you have a good gathering of uh, twigs. I got a boat. <clears throat> oh, 
a little over two cups of water. So we'll see how it does as far as boil time. I'll put the lid on it. That'll increase increase it a little bit. But like I said, always have some fuel ready to go because they do require quite a bit. You have this little opening here on the, the uh, on the side, which makes it quite <clears throat> easy to feed little sticks. And you just, you know, this is not the kind of stove you can just walk away from for five, ten minutes and, uh, you know, you have to stay close by because of the fact that it will uh, eat through this, uh, burn through this wood quite quickly. I'm just going to feed it every now and then. And I mean, I'm talking like everything from, you know, a little bigger than pen, you know, a pencil size to uh, to very small twigs, but it's, it's burning really, really well. And if the flame dies down, there's enough of, of an ember base in there that just by throwing a few sticks on there, uh, it will reunite, uh, reignite the fire. minimal amounts there she goes so you can tell that there's a real good airflow going on yeah this is not uh, usual cold for, uh, for Cape Breton we do get cold days but minus 22 is pretty cold so there you have the jets uh, which, like most gasifier stoves, really directs the flame uh, onto the pot really nicely, um, which I would imagine increases your uh, your heat, so it lessens your uh, your uh, your boiling time. And right now we've been, let's see, doing this stove for approximately, I'd say, six minutes. Let's check to see where the water's at. Okay, so we're almost at a boil. Not there yet, so let's see. There you have it. A rolling boil. And let's see, it is at, can I get a better shot of that? And that's at eight minutes. 32 seconds. So I know a lot of you are probably thinking, 8 minutes 32 seconds, uh, that's not the fastest time in the world to boil two cups of water. But you've got to take into consideration that it's minus 22 degrees outside today. I used extremely small fuel. Uh, I didn't overload it with uh, like bigger diameter sticks. I just used the small twigs uh, that I had around me. Uh, so taking that into consideration, that's not that bad. Now, this might be something that's a, uh, a good choice for a person that, let's say, is looking for a combination where you've got your cook system and your, 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 uh, your, your stove system, cooking system, and even your drinking system. This pot is a good enough size that you can actually use it just to drink from. You can cook in it. So for somebody looking for something... Uh, like an all-in-one kind of a package uh, that doesn't take up too much room and that is rather uh, quite lightweight this would be a great little option uh, I've used this stove for two and a half years I can't remember which one I got first the ember lit or uh, or this one but I I think this is the first uh, stove that I uh, that I purchased um, prior to that I was making my own hobo stoves but uh, Needless to say, this is a great little piece of kit. Maybe it's something that interests you. I want to you. show you one last little thing before I go. I really like this pot. Like I said, you can buy these separately or you can buy them uh, uh, as, a, as a group. Uh, it's got a nice little pour spout. I don't know if I can get a little closer for you to see this. But it has a nice little pour spout, which is really nice and safe uh, if you're, uh, you know, when you're pouring your, 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 um, your hot water really takes away any danger of spilling it on yourself. Uh, the only thing with this pot that, that I was, uh, you know, hoping that it would have had would have been a bale system, which it didn't. So all I did 
is I um, get this out of the way here. All I did is I took a center punch and I punched two little small uh, indentations on each side of the pot. And all I did is coat hanger, piece of wire, bent it with a little bit of a hook on each end. And I just match it up, do the little indentations, and boom -o. I have a pot hanger. <laughs> Now there is a little overhanging lip that goes all the way around this pot, but due to the fact that it has that little spout, I didn't know how well it would hold with just a bale wire. But the, this here works like fine. I mean, I've never had any uh, any issues with it as far as it coming off or, or anything like that. Uh, and it does the trick. So you end up with somewhat of a little bit of a, a smaller Morse Kohansky pot, really. But uh, yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. The uh, little solo stove and the 900 milliliter solo pot. Uh, all in all, pretty good combination. Uh, very lightweight, uh, stainless steel construction, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, like I said, this might be more suited for somebody who is looking for an all-in-one kind of a little package where they've got their cook stove and their uh, their billy pot, uh, their drinking cup, uh, everything into one. Uh, it's uh, lightweight and compact. Uh, like I said, I've had this for a little over what two years now, and uh, it, I've you know it's done me very well. But uh, just another little piece of gear that might be good for you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget, like, share, and comment. Till the next time, be good to Mother Earth. <laughs>